go. Hi guys. My name is Kim Carpenter and I am the youth group leader and uh, this is my favorite ceremony the whole entire year. So we wanted to recognize the graduates and we'll start off with the college graduates. And um, since he's right here to help me, I wanted to recognize J.P. Bohannon first. I'm sure you guys know, but he received his Doctor of Ministry from Wesley Seminary in Washington, D.C. this year. And uh, when I asked him like, what was very special, he said um, the best compliment that he received throughout this whole thing was that the Bishop of New Jersey assigned to his superintendents to read his JP's project. So that project that he did for, you know, to receive it. He, so they all have to read it. And did you want to say anything about that? No. Thank you. And um, let's see, our next one we have is uh, Stephen Ross. Stephen, you want to come <laughs> Stephen Ross just graduated from Wilkes University with his Bachelor of Science in Environmental Engineering. He um, minored in Sustainability Management as well. And some of the highlights of Stephen's college career was that he received the Charles Maté uh, professional engineering, right? Prof P he put PE, but my brother's an engineer. I happen to know that means professional engineering <laughs> scholarship for um, strong academic performance and community service. And he also, at Wilkes University, he served as um, one of the admissions ambassadors. Okay. Don't leave. <laughs> We'll, we'll let you, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll just stretch people out this way. Um. <laughs> All right. And the next one um, we have here is uh, Kaylee Traficanti. Come on up, Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee attended American University in, uh, in Washington, D.C., correct? Okay, and uh, she studied at the School of International Studies and received a BA in International Studies, and she was awarded the Charles H. Heimsath Memorial Award for Excellence in Style and Substance of Written Work while she was doing, that was for her senior capstone project. And now there were a couple other graduates here from college. Are they, is anybody else here today that's a college graduate? No? Okay. Well, I guess many of us are college graduates. Well, you, you, <laughs> if, if you will name them for us, but I will also just point out that Kaylee is wearing her baptismal vows, not on her sleeve, but on the chest, <laughs> resisting evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves. Amen. I love the shirt. So I just want to mention the other graduates, if you happen to see them, please congratulate them. We have Andy Goffrey from LCCC in Automotive, automotive Technology and Welding. John Herr um, graduated from Penn State University with a Bachelor of Health Science, um, Behavioral Science. Allison Muse graduated from LCC and she received an AAS, AAS in Advertising and Graphic Design and she's going on to attend Kutztown to um, study communications design. And then um, Soraya Tereska um, attended Misericordia University and graduated with a degree in nursing, and she's actually on her way to Texas for her first job. Okay. Fantastic. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. You can go back now. Congratulations again. Oh, wait. Put the flash up. All right, thank you. All right, our next graduates are the high school graduates, and um, I'm going to call them up one by one. Um, the first one is Lillian Newton. Come on, come on up. Really. Lillian Newton just graduated from Weatherly Area High School, and she's going to be attending Gettysburg, Gettysburg College, and she'll be studying music education. And uh, 
Lillian was in band and chorus. She was also on the yearbook committee and she received many awards including the alumni scholarship. She re received a music appreciation award and um, a teaching award and she actually ended up being third in her class. Let's get them all up here first. Yeah. Um, the next one we have is Rachel Penny. Rachel will be attending Hoodstown University to be a teacher for the visually impaired. And she just graduated from Crestwood High School. And uh, she's attending Kutztown because it's one of two schools that offers her major for um, being a teacher of the visually impaired. And uh, Rachel was a member of the Key Club and she was, she was critical in her role hel helping with the uh, Vacation Bible School camps. And she also did some volunteer um, work with the Northeast Eye Institution for the Visually Impaired and um, was also a um, volunteer at our community library for the last four years. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Matthew Shipton. Matthew just graduated from Crestwood High School. He is going to be attending Clarkson University for Mechanical Engineering. And uh, Matthew received his Eagle Scout, and he was a district medalist in pole vault and soccer. And he also had a five, he received a five on his physics AP exam, which in case you don't know, is a very hard exam, and five is the highest score you can get, which not many people get it, so it was great. And uh, he had a near perfect score on his math SAT as well. The next graduate is Kelly Velahosky. Congratulations. Kelly just graduated from Crestwood High School and she'll be attending Penn State Worthington for, a nurse, for nursing. And uh, Kelly was a district medalist in soccer and she went to um, districts for track as well. And uh, she'll be playing soccer at Penn State and, uh, and sh that's to follow up because she's been playing for, a ca for Canelau Travel Soccer Team for the last 14 years. Right. We'd just like to mention, too, there was a couple of people who weren't able to be here. Um, Mackenzie Kyle, she attended Crestwood, and she'll be going to Bucknell University for environmental engineering. And we also um, have Katie Thomas, who is always here, but um, she had a softball tournament because she's still going strong in her, her softball. And so they had a tournament today, but she'll be attending um, Duquesne University for a pre-physical therapy program. Could you hand me the books? Could you hand me the books? So one of the things we give to our high school graduates is a, um, a devotional. Um, and I just encourage you to take this with you. Um, one of the great things about it is you don't have to read from beginning to end. Um, and they're for different days of the month. So it's like a page. So it's easy and quick reading. This is a devotional that has um, shaped and touched people um, for almost 100 years. It's uh, my utmost for his highest. And I just encourage you to take this with you and to use it um, in your own uh, prayers and devotional life in school. And uh, we just want to send that with you as part of our prayers um, for you. So she wants us to get close, close to one another like we you know, might you know, be slightly familiar with each other. <laughs> You guys can sit down in the front. Um, that would be great. You guys can just sit down here in the front.
Aren't our graduates great? Aren't they wonderful? All those things they are doing? And I'm a little biased, but I think the kids that are brought up in the church, like, you know, the kids that you see here in front of you, I don't know, they just go the extra mile. They've, you know, they've learned compassion. They've learned how to work hard. And um, I'm so proud of them. And Kim Bender and I talked about, we're not going to cry today like we usually do, but uh, we're going to try not to cry. But I love these kids. They're fabulous. Um, so many of them per has participated in the youth group. And... Um, I'm actually, I love education. I love furthering education, whether that be college or specialized training. And um, so the next part of our segment is uh, just, a, just because I love education so much, we really have gone overboard with our um, scholarships. And the church has responded to offer scholarships for our students. And um, so we're going to go around a whole, uh, go through a whole bunch of scholarships these kids will be receiving. And I apologize for calling you kids, but I'm almost 50 and I'm allowed. So uh, let's start off with one of the longest standing scholarships. And um, if I can have Karen Demko come forward, she'll be presenting the first scholarship. So the Friendship Circle Award is Give It Out. It's, I don't know how long, how long has it been, Karen? Are you guys have been out? Yeah. It's like one of the longest scholarships, if, if not the longest scholarship in the church. Um, very meaningful for the Friendship Circle and the members of the church. So the Friendship Circle Award is given to one male and one female student who exemplify the life of, of Christ United Methodist Church by service to others and the community and demonstrate maturing Christian faith. This will go to Matthew Shipton. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Stand next to Karen. Karen, if you could stay here a moment. We have something, just a little token of appreciation for giving out the award. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thanks okay. to the Friendship and Circle. I also wanted to mention there's a, um, a female that receives the award as well, and she's yeah. not here today. Back. Yeah. Uh, that I'll, I'll mention is Katie Thomas. So. Our next one, can I have um, Kim Bender come forward? Let's see if we can get her to cry. <sighs> While she's coming up, I just want to mention these, these following scholarships are the ones that I procured because of my love for education. But each of the people I spoke to about these awards um, agreed with me with the understanding that these would be pay it forward scholarships. So basically to receive the scholarship, the, the students have to agree that when they get to the point in their life that they're able to give back, they will give back in turn and create a scholarship for, you know, in their name or, you know, for someone's name. So it's a keep it, you know, keep it going forward Pass scholarship. Yeah. All right. So the Kim is up here because she is, she along with her daughter Kate and her daughter Courtney present this scholarship. It's called the John E. Bender Memorial Music Scholarship. The family of John E. Bender give this music scholarship in loving memory of their beloved husband and father who was an educator, music director, and band director that served at Crestwood for the last 30 years of his professional career. This scholarship is given to a student who is majoring in music, plays a musical instrument, or studies voice. Like its namesake, the recipient of the John E. Bender Memorial Music Scholarship actively demonstrates a love for music, has excelled in their area of musical study, and shares that, pa that passion with others. With a great pleasure and honor, I'd like to give this to Lily Newton. She'll stand right here, Lily. One more. We're going to look at here for the picture.
Are Chris and Philip Solida here? They're not able to be here. All right, the next scholarship is called the Soliday Humanitarian Scholarship, and it was donated by the Soliday family. The Soliday Humanitarian Scholarship is an award given in memory of James Willard and Edna Geraldine Soliday. It is given to a graduating senior or college student who demonstrates a love of humanity by displaying concern towards his or her fellow man, provo promoting human welfare, showing inclusion to those society shuns, demonstrating compassion to those in need, and actively seeking to promote the welfare of those who are disadvantaged, especially those with autism or with mental and physical disabilities. The recipient of the Solidate Family Humanitarian Scholarship will actively demonstrate the heart of Jesus. This award is going to Matthew Shipton. The next scholarship is the Grimm Educational Scholarship, and it's given by Joyce Grimm, who is JP's mother-in-law, and uh, Robin's mother. The Grimm Educational Scholarship is an award given in memory of Jesse Grimm, who is an amazing husband, father, and educator. He was generous and wise and had a strong belief in education. Like its namesake, the Grimm Educational Scholarship recipient will have a passion for education from the gifted to those with physical and mentally disabil mental disabilities. They will have a heart to serve and a knowledge of how their contribution in education can make a difference for a lifetime. I'm sorry that mom and Robin are not able to be here today, but we are very proud to be able to um, give this uh, scholarship gift to Rachel Penny. The last scholarship is the Bohannon Legacy Scholarship, and it was donated by Robin and J.P. Bohannon. The Bohannon Legacy Scholarship is an award given to a graduating senior, college student, or someone pursuing specialty education in the field of healthcare or ministry. Showing the value of its donors, the scholarship is designed for someone who plans to actively incorporate their ministry and their vocation. The recipient of the Bohannon Legacy Scholarship will understand the responsibility of a legacy that can be created when one enters a field in the service of others. Well, we're blessed to be able to present this to Kelly Villahosky. Can we have all the scholarship um, recipients just come up here one more time? We'll give them a picture. Good job, guys. Very nice. Thank you. We do have, um, a, I, I know we have at least a couple other scholarship awards that will be done at a later date, um, and so we'll have a chance to do that, but this is the main date, and so we're so glad you're here, and again, congratulations. And let's have, let's have a word of prayer for these folks. Lord God, we thank you for these young people. We thank you for all the things that you're doing in their lives. We thank you for the adventures that are ahead. We thank you for the success that they've accomplished, and the favor that you've poured out on them. Lord, we pray that you'll give them open doors. We pray that you will give them insight into themselves. Um, we pray that you will fill them with hunger for your love and your righteousness in their own lives and in our world. 
And we pray that they will be part of transforming this world for the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, amen. There were a few scholarships, like JP mentioned, that will be handle, handed out later in the year, and uh, that includes the Judy Stanton Memorial Scholarship. Um, let's see, what's the other David one? Davis. The Kenneth. David Davis. Uh -huh, the Davis Davis Award and the Kenneth Lasowski Memorial Scholarship later in the in the um, year. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if if all the graduates could join us up the front afterwards for pictures with family.